We all know the old way of business just isn't working. Journey with us into the future of our economy, the co-op caravan. Where a group of teens use plants to get the lead out of soil. So I'm a member of Toxic Soil Busters, we run Working Cooperative, um, incubated inside of the Worcester Roots Project, which is a nonprofit that promotes uh, co ops that have missions that involve social and environmental justice in Worcester. We take perennial plants, plant them in lead soil, and then the theory is they soak up the lead, and then you throw them out, and you have this uh, clean, relatively uh, thin, uh, cost effective way of dealing with lead soil. So we follow this democratic consensus-based process where all the youth are involved. Uh, we use horizontal democratic decision making. Where waffles aren't just waffles. We are a pop-up community development brunch. Anything, you know, name a food and then we try to waffle. Um, and we do a monthly community dinner. Um, and I'm trying to, uh, you know, figure out other ways that we can do social change within the, within the model of a for profit or productive business. Where a community team makes your leaky house energy efficient. We spend four or five hours caulking and um, weather stripping and uh, insulating pipes and, um, and then we party. Where anyone can build their own bike and get around using no fossil fuels. I'm going to show you guys what the shop looks like. If they're under the age of 17, <laughs> they have to help for five hours. If they're 17 or older, they have to help for 10 hours and they get a bike. We can build special bikes. We built trailers and the bike power generators and all that stuff was built here. Where ex-prisoners make your sustainable biofuel. We were trying to figure out how could we give back? How could Epoca uh, make this situation a lot better for people with criminal records? Um, so they decided, hey, we're gonna put together this uh, co-op in Power Energy. So Power Energy Co-op came out of Epoca. Um, and it was basically to create sustainable jobs, create a, a, a place where we're worker owners, that we uh, have the responsibility of continuing this, this, this great um, business and making a strive. We make uh, locally produced, um, locally harvested, uh, recycled vegetable oil through a chemical process we produce biodiesel. Where class people share space and make giant swords. Um, we're all part of Blank Slate. We share tools um, and we sometimes share materials more or less, um, help each other out, work with each other sometimes, sometimes alone. Where fires turn into blue-green coalitions. Stone Soup is a collective of um, social justice, environmental justice organizations and artists. They came together, they uh, were able to buy this house and as you know, a uh, fire that occurred in 2009 destroyed much of it. So everybody participates in making decisions. And this wonderful thing is happening now during the renovation, We're going to open up the building to anyone who's interested to get the basic trainings that they need in order to get into any of the building trades. Where youth run a landscape and co-op with no bosses. Where natural, healthy, local food doesn't bust your budget. For access to healthy, inexpensive food. And we source as many um, products as possible from local producers. Where youth grow thousands of pounds of food in the city. So we grow uh, 2,500 pounds of food every summer on our two farms. We grow um, almost all the ingredients that go into the hot sauce ourselves, with the exception of oil, lime juice, and salt. Where people live, cook, and make decisions together. Well, the reason why they wanted to start was to make cooperative living affordable, and, and eventually we started a cooperative development fund to, that we put money into each month 
in order to buy our own home as a cooperative. As a co-op, you know, you're working as a team and you're working collectively to really accomplish something, not just for ourselves, but our community. There's something really beautiful about that power and that strength in numbers that creates so much more. Where people from the streets hold peace circles and change lives. We have a peace circle that's here. We kind of like, you know, get to that root cause of why they were at, where they was at, and um, how can we help them get out of that, that vicious cycle that, you know, you know, a lot of men of color go through, you know. Where graphic artists come together to explore their creative passions. Welcome back to the present. Now get out there and make this future economy happen today. Mm -hmm.